17. Hey, I'm Todd with ESS. We're here to debut the new Express XL. Okay, inside the trunk, right beneath the site, you can easily just go ahead and un loosen the, the jack, pull it out, go to work. When you're done with it, again, right at the regular height, put it in, pump it up one or two times, boom, tight, not going anywhere. Okay, so I hold two jacks, eight jack stands. Inside the new XL here, uh, standard features in the XL: the tool cabinet, microwave, storage chest. Again, in here we're running some LED lights. We got four of them in here, giving us some natural daylight. Back here we have our jack jack racks, holding two jacks. We have our jack stand racks. We have a total of eight can go up there. New heater keep this thing warm. Out here we got some the standard 110 outlets and some uh, new lighting. Okay. It's a standard 14 foot Isuzu box truck. Um, when we got this truck it was just from a coffee delivery service. It was standard sides on it. We actually came in here, cut in a 36 inch by 72 inch door. Out of the stairs, easy access. This will be the primary entrance in and out in and out of this vehicle. The average time for the build for a truck like this is less than two weeks. With all the fabrication from cutting in the door and building the staircase to building a custom rack to hold the generator underneath the truck, all the fabrication of the racks inside, everything here we fabricated ourselves except for well, except for the the paint cabinet and the tool chest. Everything else is something that was fabricated from our shop here at ESS. Right now, this is where we're running our power cord out of. We actually, it actually hides underneath one of the uh, a void that we have in the prep bench. Um, coil it up. We have an outlet that is actually hooked to the generator underneath, um, and then we're running off of a standard uh, splitter box that we invented and created for us here. You can actually, with this box, plug into two separate 120 volt power sources, and you'll be able to operate that 240 volt compressor that's inside. Um, so. If you're at a dealership where you can take 200 foot cords, run them over to a couple outlets, um, this truck will run off of that if you uh, don't want to run the motor um, for the generator outside. All right, so now also, when we're working in here with the doors closed, we're gonna get our positive fresh air flowing from underneath the tool chest and underneath the compressor. It's gonna pull all of our air through there, through the, through the filter here, and into the trailer, or into the truck, excuse me. Um, so we have all our positive air coming through here. We're also cooling down our motor and our pump on our air compressor. We also have fresh air coming from our underneath our explosion proof paint cabinet. Again, we're trying to get that cross ventilation. We're on, we're on the passenger side of the vehicle and we're shooting it out on the driver's side of the vehicle. Also up top here, we're running the CureTech lights again with our arms. We made the arms again, put them on the CureTech lights. We're able to go ahead and take care of our wheels that we painted on this side. Also on the other side of the truck, we've done the exact same thing. What we have done on this vehicle is we went ahead and put in two eliminator fan, or two fans, uh, Marathon Motors, 2500 CFM. They're all switched individually. So on our prep side, we have a switch. On our paint side, we have a switch. So both sides are, can run individually or both at the same time, it doesn't matter. Um, we have a standard 120, 240 volt panel. We're running GFI breakers. So that way we have uh, all, our, all our stuff is protected that we're running in here. Um, and then the GFI breaker will last a lot longer than an actual receptacle and uh, thing will work great. 
back here by our front door, by our side door. This is our main entrance in and out of this truck. We have our Onan uh, generator control here. So from this point right here, guys can come in through the door, touch this button right here, fire up the unit, and uh, they can go to work. We have an Onan 6500 commercial rated 122.40 volt uh, generator. It's mounted up underneath the truck. It actually pulls its fuel from the truck itself. Um, so that the truck can actually operate um, and not have to worry about you know filling it up. It, you know when you go to the gas station, you just fill up one thing and that's it. Truck's done. Uh, generator works fine. Um, we also have standard power cord outside, and we can run off of standard 120 to 40 volt power. Okay. Out back here, we have another uh, uh, plus one stand back here, so you can do all your, you can clean the wheel, prep the wheel, get it ready to go back inside. So if you have two guys, three guys working. Somebody can work out back here. Again, back into a standard two inch uh, receiver. Um, works really good, no problem there. We also have standard air chuck back here, so you can actually work in the back of the truck and not have any problems.